Hi, I'm Keetron Evans, and it's not a secret that one of the most popular tools of Surface since COVID started is Zoom. In this video, I'm going to show you how Threat Actors are using its popularity in a very successful phishing campaign. Let's dive in. I recently talked to a CFO who is a victim of this attack, and she told me that on average, she receives about 15 Zoom meeting invites per day, which makes it difficult for her to think about not accepting one. Let me show you how it's done. So what I've done here is I've already set up, using the Social Engineers Toolkit, a fake copy of the Zoom website. And if you wanna see how to do that, you can go back and watch some of our other free videos on using the Social Engineers Toolkit. So what I'm gonna do now is log into an email account and forward or send a Zoom meeting invite to our unknowing victim here. So I'm gonna log into the Keytron Hacks Gmail account here. Since Keytron Hacks is the mischievous person that's always uh, responsible for doing these types of bad things. So here's a Zoom meeting and I'm simply going to forward this Zoom meeting request to our victim. So there's our Zoom meeting there. Simple enough, looks just like a regular Zoom meeting. I'm gonna now forward that meeting request to who our intended victim is. And that's gonna be uh, Bob Vance. So we send it to Bob Vance. Now we're gonna be the victim. We're gonna to go to Bob Vance's computer and see what Bob Vance sees in his email. What you see here is a typical Zoom meeting invite email. This is a meeting invite to Bob Vance, Advanced Refrigeration from Keytron Hacks. And it's just got the link here to the Zoom meeting. Now, as soon as Bob clicks this link, watch what happens. Bob's gonna click the link. We clicked it. And it appears not much is going on except the browser's turning, but let's go look at the attacker side. Waiting over here, the attacker had a fake copy of Zoom, which actually loaded malicious code. And what you're seeing here is the attacker's view of what Bob got just from clicking on that link. So now as the attacker, I can simply jump into that session take a screenshot to prove that we now own Bob's machine. So think about that for a second. The only thing Bob did was open his email, clicked on that Zoom meeting invite like he does every single day when he has to go to these Zoom meetings. And as a result of that, lowly attacker over here now has complete control of Bob's machine. This is why you really need to be careful when you're blindly clicking on those Zoom meeting invites. Make sure that it's from someone who you think it's supposed to be from. Hope you enjoyed that. 